Hi guys, it's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do this week's Facebook Witches Runes reveal for you all. So, if you got drawn to Rune 1, we're going into the energy of Flight. Flight is really interesting when it shows. It's all about actively moving forward in your world and it's looking at everything for what it is and it's making changes. So for some of you, um, this could involve travel. It could be moving forward in that way. It could be that some of you are thinking of having a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a rest and a bit of a recharge. But it could also be that you're being encouraged to perhaps move forward from aspects of where you currently sit where you currently stand within the world so if you are somebody at the moment that is feeling a little bit stuck you know maybe you're in a sort of change of job and wanting to break free from sort of something there or perhaps there's another part of your world that's feeling a little bit compromised the rune of flight is all about actively spreading your wings and just getting out there doing your thing and not apologizing for it so if you're feeling limited, if you're feeling stuck, only you can make the changes ultimately, you know. So don't fear what the future holds or where you envisage yourself going in the future. It's kind of like giving yourself permission to just go there. You know, this is really a time of empowerment for you if you've been drawn to this rune. So it could be you're needing that little bit of rest, a bit of recharge in between, but then great sort of transformation to follow so get out there spread your wings live your best life i've been talking to quite a lot of people at the moment in readings about how they're feeling like time is quite restrictive and time isn't maybe on their side and with that theory in mind it's like do everything you can do now while you're able to um so it's really kind of harnessing the energy of this so definitely there's an awareness to just get out there and just put your best foot forward. And it doesn't matter if you don't know all the final pieces of the puzzle. Sometimes when we sort of just apply ourselves, things have a way of working out. Things have a way of coming good just by changing up that energy. Because the universe recognises that and says or sees that you're putting yourself out there. You're ready to deliver and to receive something of higher quality. So that's really being encouraged at the moment with this rune. Now then, guys, if you've been drawn to cut, uh, I keep calling them cards, they're runes. If you've been drawn to rune two, we're going into the energy of the sun. Great time at the moment with obviously the magic of spring into the change into summer. But what we've got going on here with the rune of the sun is about illumination. It's about being seen. The sun is very similar to the sun in traditional tarot. It's all about hope, happiness, positivity, playful energy is kind of coming in. And if you feel like you've been restricting yourself or not being sort of seen in the best or the strongest light, it's like nurturing everything. It's bringing everything into full fruition. So all of your hopes, all of your dreams, all of your wishes, the sun is really wanting to acknowledge those. It's wanting to nurture them and it's wanting to bring everything into new reality, new growth for you. It's all about illumination. It's all about being seen. So... You know, like when we open up our kind of curtains of a morning and we see sunshine, we always tend to feel a little bit better than if we wake up and we see miserable rain or wind or sleet or snow or any of that stuff. Even though some people love that energy, most people, when they sort of see the sun shining, they feel a bit more hopeful or they feel a little bit more happy in self. And that's basically what this rune is wanting to offer. It's wanting to bring in for you. So if in your personal world you feel like you've lost where the sun sits it's allowing that energy to come back in for you so there's a real positive there's a real hopeful time and like i say it's all about your illumination it's about you shining your best light to the world and remembering that people can only hold us back people can only limitate us if we buy into their version of things so many people i'm speaking to at the moment are almost giving away their power to other people to other circumstances where they feel devalued or underwritten or overlooked and the sun is about knowing that you're worthy of something of higher quality something of higher value and not needing this external appreciation give it to yourself you owe it to yourself to give the best of yourself to who you are and once that starts once that links in you know the sun can literally achieve a, uh, i can't speak can achieve greatness there's magic to be harnessed here so get out there, guys, and shine. 
Now, as we're going, oops, excuse me, as we're going into like the final um, rune, we're going into the energy of man. Now, if as we're going into the energy of man, this is all about leadership. This is about you really stepping up into your purpose, into your power. A lot of people are feeling quite detached from the physical world as they're awakening to their higher power, their higher purpose. And sometimes we have to hit rock bottom. Sometimes we have to go to the depths of our shadow side, the depths of our, of our well, to actually appreciate the energy of change. And this is basically like the song from Yaz, The Only Way Is Up. So within that song, it talks about, there's a piece in there where it says, you know, we've been broken down to the point of the lowest turn. And sometimes that is what this is about, you know, feeling rock bottom, but actually applying yourself and thinking again you're worth more than the experiences that you've perhaps um, allowed in so far and not being limited the rune of man is also about leadership it's about really tapping into that masculinity and with that comes communication speaking and owning your truth and not being compromised putting boundaries in place that work for you and harnessing your best life you know this is the equivalent really of the kind of king cards in traditional tarot that's what this would be so kings don't sacrifice kings don't limitate kings don't compromise they literally create the world they want to exist in the world they want to be part of that's being encouraged for you here so tap into that masculinity know and trust that positive changes afoot is happening and again be brave enough to just venture into that space so a lot of these runes this week are about authentic energy if you feel like the world is dictating to you, turn that back around and make a change, you know, and realise that actually you're in control at each point of the experience that you want to receive. So you don't have to be limited. You don't have to be compromised by external forces. You're in control again here of the experience and the way it shoots up when we hit that rock bottom point, there is only one way we can rise and that's back to the top. So that's being encouraged. So an interesting set of runes. I hope you can make sense of them. Just want to say tomorrow I'm doing another seance. I have one space left. It's £50 if you're um, interested and want to come along to an evening of um, spookiness in the witch's cellar. And also this Saturday, um, the 7th, I am doing my spirit magic show down in beautiful Glastonbury. It's just outside. It's in West Pennard, which is a little village just as you hit into Glastonbury itself. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see some of you lovelies there. There's still a few tickets available if you want to be part of that. So go onto my website, get booking. That's happening this Saturday. Mum's got her stall there as well. So she'll be selling all of her jewellery and window catchers, crystals and different bits and pieces. So it'd be great to see some of you lovelies there. But stay safe, stay well. Love and blessings and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.